ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, so I wasn't really sure how I wanted to start this video. Um, just because I don't really, you know, do these kinds of videos usually. Usually I'm doing just something stupid with my friends or if I am doing something serious, I guess you would say. Um, it's usually like fictional or something, so I kind of wasn't really sure where, what direction this video should go, how I should start it, so I guess the best way would to be like this. Long story short, I, I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favorite thing in the world, even though I sound like a two-year-old a two -year -old talking about cake. But it's true, it's my favorite thing in the world. I love this holiday, I love everything about this season. However childish or dumb that sounds, I, I absolutely love Christmas. So, you know, I'm, as I'm getting older now, I'm, I'm the one who's pretty much doing all the decorating around my house, which is fine because that's my favorite thing ever. You know, I love, I love decorating. Like I said, I love every aspect of it. And one of the main things that I like doing about it is decorating. And so, you know, throughout the years, we never really did any sort of like lights outside our house. And, you know, we did some um, the last couple of years, you know, like I did some the last couple of years, but it's just kind of like random stuff we had. And we always talked about doing like a real display, well, display, um, but we just never did it for whatever reason. And then last year when uh, me and my girlfriend started going out, I, she, you know, right off the bat, we talked about how much I love Christmas and um, I did, I put lights up last year and she was like, for someone that loves Christmas, that's really sad <laughs> for the, for the lights that I put up. And I like kind of took that to heart in a certain way and I was like, yeah, it's true. Like I actually need to like, I want to do something for real. And so a couple months ago, back in October, I talked to my parents about doing a light display and they were like, sure, like you get it figured out. You let us know what you need and you do it. So then from there, I was like, you know, sure. And then I was kind of planning from there, just kind of brainstorming in my head what I should do. And then I was just like, oh, I wonder if I should do like a video about it. And I was like, no, that just seems kind of weird. Like, I feel like I'm the only one in the world who would care about it or who'd want to watch it, which I mean, is pretty much everything I make. But I put a, a tweet out and I was like, it was a poll and I was like, you know, if I make this video, like who would care to even watch it and then it got a total of 10 votes and every single one of the votes was yes that I should do it and they would watch it and like you know obviously that's not a lot but that's a lot to me for people who would say they'd actually watch it and everybody voted yes so I was like, I'm like okay I'm like sure I'll, that must mean something and so yeah without rambling on for much longer I'll go into talking a little bit more about it so from there on it was pretty much you know getting everything set up you know I already knew that I wanted to do a light display but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do obviously so I kind of looked around online saw examples I always didn't want to copy anyone and you know it's not like I'm going all out and spending all this money to do something insane looking but I wanted to look nice I wanted to look you know more not so crazy looking but more you know nice more clean I guess I'm trying to say so I kind of looked for some ideas and then found out what I wanted to do I'd already known kind of the lights that I wanted to get just didn't know how to put it all together right away from there I knew what I wanted to do kind of found the lights that I liked you know looked over my house and kind of you know saw what features I wanted to use to put lights on what colors I wanted to use all that kind of stuff from there on, I went and did measurements of each of the part of the houses that I was going to use and then some, you know, I didn't, I got measurements of parts that I didn't for sure know if I was going to use or not, but just wanted to make sure. So I got the measurements, measured everything out, wrote it all down so that way I knew how many, you know, boxes and strains of lights to order. That same day, which was I guess back in uh, early November, yeah, early November, I got the measurements and then same day, went online, found all the lights I wanted to use. I, I used all, I wanted to use all name brands because obviously this will be something that I do every single year. I'll probably add to it, you know, each year or every few years I feel like adding more to it because I want it to be more each year. But obviously I couldn't just go all out and waste a bunch of money on this the first year. 
Um, I have the receipts here. I'm not gonna say the prices obviously, but I'll say kind of like what I ordered. Uh, I ordered three boxes of the, just the Philips clear white light, just the 100 count strip. Um, eight boxes of the icicle lights, the ones that hang down. Um, and those are 200, 200 count lights. These 300 count rolls of these twinkle lights and then seven boxes of the red 100 count lights. And then for Michael's, I ordered the three boxes of those snowflake lights. Again, this is all from measuring everything out. It took a, quite a while to figure out how many boxes I needed. I had to do math, which is crazy. I had to use math to figure that stuff out. And then, yeah. So, I mean, the obvious next thing from there was, was getting everything set up. You know, I got them in, all the lights came in, and then, you know, I went and picked some stuff up probably, I guess, a week ago. Yeah, yeah, about a week ago, everything came in, and obviously didn't have the time right then and there to set it all up. So, um, yesterday, I got out there a little bit later, well, quite a bit later than I wanted to. Um, so it was already kind of starting to get dark. I got out there at 3.30 and started getting stuff set up. Um, my girlfriend helped me with some of the stuff on the roof because I hate heights. I, I hate going on roofs, I hate doing that so much. So we got on the roof and tried our first plan out, uh, which was to, I have these little, these overhang windows and I wanted to put lights up in those. And I don't know if it's because I was too scared or if it's because the roof's too steep, but I, there was no way it was gonna happen. So we, I was like, let's scratch that idea. It's not gonna work. Like I just, I, I can't do it. <laughs> and so we got down from the roof and then we were done on the roof, but there was nothing else we needed to do up there. Um, from there on, we started putting the icicle lights up. So we started from one corner of my house and went to the other. And the first side of my house took forever because there were so many bushes in the way and to try and getting that ladder through there, even though I ended up realizing later that it probably wasn't the best way to do it, how we were doing it. But either way, it took forever. And so that by the time we finally got out of that bush area in that corner, it was dark out. And so I kind of just kept going. I kept putting up lights and kept putting up the icicle lights. And I was like, once I get to the overhang, I'm gonna go in and get um, the snowflake lights and start putting them up because I just wanted to put the snowflakes over the overhang and so About that time it was dark and like it was I'm like this is how am I supposed to film this if it's so dark and so I was like Oh, I obviously we make videos and and stuff like that. So we have lights here So I was like, okay, let me go out and get a light set it up got the light set up and it was perfect That was the best idea ever to do that so got the light set up and then got back to doing it because not only did the camera need to see what I was doing, but I needed to see what I was doing and that was the easiest way to do it. So I did all those, did the whole roof. It took quite a quite a while, you know, cause it's my first time doing that. And it doesn't look perfect, but you know, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with, with how it turned out, which you guys will obviously see. After that, I then started doing the other light work and I was like, okay, I wanna start from one side and go to the other with everything. So I started on the left side of my house with putting up the big snowflake and which worked out pretty well. I wish I could have gotten it up higher, but I'd have to use a taller ladder and then I, you know, I, we don't have a taller step ladder like that. We have a an extension ladder, but that would kind of not really work with a tree. So I moved on from there after I got that up. Um, I ended up doing the, the, the twinkly lights. I just realized how weird it sounds saying twinkly lights. The twinkling lights um, in the bush did a strip of red lights around the, the stump of the tree. And then from there I moved on to, I believe from there I moved on and did the red lights um, around the pillars on the porch of my house. And so I did red lights wrapping around each of them. From there, I believe I did the strands of lights on um, uh, two of my windows, or well, four of my windows, I guess you'd say, but one strip for two, because the windows are sets of two. Did those, um, and then I did the two boxes, or two st strips of um, 100 lights, of the red lights in the, the smaller tree in front of my house. From there, I went and did the other twinkling lights in the bush that is in the far right side of my house. And then I believe that's it. I think that's all I did in terms of outside. But then I was just, I had this just pile of outlets and cords and, you know, 50 feet of extension cord raveled up, just like sitting on the porch, like right where the, the outlets are. 
And so I was like, well, this looks this looks stupid. You know, I'm not just gonna just sit on the porch, such an eyesore. Like, obviously no one's gonna see it at night when the lights are on. But I was like, no, that's ridiculous. I have to do something about this. And um, so at first I was just like, we had this, um, another piece of the display, which is something we've already had, was this, this light up snowman. So I was like, okay, I'll just put the snowman in front of the cords. You won't see it. Well, you can still see there's so many cords. And so I was like, oh, I was like, let me, I need a box. Let me put them all in a box that I can set on the porch. And so they'll be in the box and you won't see them. And so I was like, I'm like, oh, I could do like a present box. And so I ended up, ended up taking a cardboard box, which I probably shouldn't use a cardboard box. So I cut out that, put wrapping paper on it to look like a present. I had a, a lid from an old like plastic tub, put wrapping paper on that for the lid that I could easily just take off, set, set on, set down on top of the box. Put all the cords in there, it worked perfect. I was, again, everything surprisingly went pretty well with all of this and I'm really happy with having that idea of doing a present box. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So now let's go see the lights. If I can turn the camera on. Yeah. Three, two,